why are my welds always 98% utilized? So this is one of the most frequently asked questions on the support. The answer is that that's not always true and I will show you why. So here's the case. You run your code check of your connection and then as you see here in the summary, it's 98.2% utilized. Uh, but when we go over to the check uh, tab and we look through the results, we can see that that is not always the case. So let's go through it. Here we can see in the results tab that we have the welds and there are two utilizations uh, ra ratio listed. The UT shows the utilization value of the most stressed finite element of the whole weld, so the peak value, while the UTC shows the utilization of the whole weld and thus gives the user information about the remaining weld capacity. Since stress distribution in welds in uh, FEM-based models varies based on the applied load, it's not simple to determine the remaining capacity as a linear function. With the increment of uh, applied load, the change in weld stress distribution can be very dramatic. If we take a closer look at this connection, we can see in the results that the UT is 98.2% and the UTC is 62.2. And in the bottom right, you can see the equivalent stresses uh, along the weld. This is where you basically can see that the peak stress is at 98.2%, but the overall utilization of the weld is 62.2. Uh, uh, Let's have a closer look at it. So you can see here that UT is the utilization of the most stressed element. Since plastic redistribution of stress in weld is used, uh, it is the decisive utilization. UTC provides information about utilization along the weld length. It is the ratio of actual stress at all elements of the weld to the design uh, resistance of the stress of the whole length of the weld. If we divide 427 uh, megapascal by 435, we get 98.2%. That is okay. And kind of a simple way of calculating the UTC is uh, the A1 area divided by A total uh, area. You get approximately 62%. But the actual calculation of UTC uses a machine learning estimation function based on learning from a vast number of welded connection models and various load scenarios. And this uh, algorithm can accurately predict re the remaining weld capacity. This functionality is the first successful use of AI and machine learning to determine the capacity of welds. And what's best uh, is that this application can do it within the 10% threshold. Thank you.